This is Adrian Manns. If you'd like a copy of my book, Around the Horn, A Trader's Guide to Consistently Scoring in the Markets, visit TraderInsight.com, where you'll receive a 30% discount and three-day shipping. That's the best price anywhere, only from Trader Insight. How would you like to have a 6% return every month? Well, we're going to ask Adrian Manns just how to do it. Hi, Adrian. Hi. How does a trader have consistent returns like that every month? Well, it's all about... Uh, knowing your patterns, knowing exactly what you can expect in terms of results when patterns present themselves and you have to do a fair amount of filtering through trading candidates every day. Um, so I start, I always get a question from, from people, what scanning software do I use to find the setups in the book? And the reality is I don't use any scanning software. There's a lot of stuff that's marketed around um, what I do, but I'm always very honest with traders about it and I say, you know, I don't use any of it. Um, what I do is sit down with a list of 1,500 stocks every day and I flip through those charts. And then I try to see whether or not there's a, a confluence between what's happening in an individual stock and what might be happening in the sector that it belongs to, what's happening in the major indices. And I try to find things uh, to include in our trading plan then that seem like they've got sort of a path of least resistance between the entry and the profit target. So we do some very, very careful screening of our trading candidates. And I think that over time, what happens is you, you sort of figure out a way to uh, add a predictive element to what your level of profitability is going to be. And that's sort of where we are. This, this six points or 6% a month has been, uh, has been year over year, month over month. We haven't had a losing month on the trading plan in uh, four years. So it's, it's been a, a very reliable indicator of what's about to happen in the market. You have to then repeat the same thing every day. Can you walk me through what a typical day is from start, how early, and how long? Sure. Well, we're out on the West Coast. Obviously, we're in Los Angeles. So uh, day starts for us about quarter to six. Um, get up, sort of catch any economic news that might be out there. It doesn't affect our trading plan. We don't, we don't use that as a filter. We just like to know what we're in for. Um, we take the previous session's plan, trade it to the letter. We just get in there. We're very robotic about it, hold ourselves. Uh, um, to exactly the specifications that we had for handling each one of the trades. And then, end of, the, end of the day, we judge our success or failure strictly by whether or not we did what we said we were going to do. So we don't look at the money at all. We try to, we try to keep the, uh, um, sort of the assessment of what's happening in the trading account on, uh, to a monthly review of, of dollars uh, in, the, in the account. But once the session's over, we take about a half hour break, and then the next thing is, you know, Julia will, will go spend some time with our son, and I'll start flipping through charts. I do uh, about, like I said, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 charts. I've got a volume cut off uh, 300,000 to about 4 million shares a day, so that, that amount of uh, stocks on the list varies a little bit. I get in, and I just start flipping through uh, one chart at a time and uh, you know, look for those patterns that pop up. I've been doing it for 10, 11 years now, so they pop right out at you. I segregate that list out to the side. Um, when I've got things that look to me the way that they look in the book, I go take a closer look then at that list. That's probably uh, in the neighborhood of 100 stocks at that point. Then drill down, look at the sectors, look for agreement between uh, the setups that I have and the uh, uh, the underlying sectors that those stocks belong to. And then we break down the time frame. We go from uh, the daily chart then into a five-minute chart, look for support, look for resistance, logical places to put stops. Um, I'll use the volume weighted average price uh, to try and va validate uh, an area that I've identified as a stop loss. And then if all those things come together and we have better than a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio on the trades, I'll take those three or five trades and hand them to Julie and she takes another look. And then uh, she'll go through, she likes a 25 tick chart to uh, establish stops. She likes to take the time uh, compression out of it and just go with a, uh, a true price compression. And then she'll come back and give me the yay or nay in her opinion on a few things. And then we'll talk about it. And uh, we've got our trading plan for the next day. Wow. That's yeah. great. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Our guest today, Adrian Manns. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.